This video highlights the connect bar introduced in Secure CRT version 6.7 and enhanced in version 8.3 to become perhaps the quickest method of establishing connections on the fly to either ad hoc hosts or saved sessions. I'm running Secure CRT version 8.5.2 here and you can see in the main toolbar area between the disconnect button and the copy button there's a field labeled enter host with a hotkey advertised as alt R. This is Secure CRT's connect bar. Since I'm partial to hotkeys, I'll use Alt-R to quickly place keyboard focus into the connect bar. While focus is here in the connect bar, I can simply type a host name or an IP address and press the enter key, and SecureCRT will initiate a connection to that host. When only a host name or an IP address is entered, the default sessions protocol is used to make the connection. That's SSH2 in my case, since I have a fresh, out-of-the-box SecureCRT setup here. The connect bar supports a good number of the protocol specific command line options so you can specify a protocol that is different from the default session. For example, I can connect with the serial protocol to COM25 using a baud rate of 115-200. As another example, I can connect to a host using the telnet protocol with the slash telnet directive followed by the target host's name or IP address and a port specification like this. Also, if I happen to have saved sessions already stored in the session manager in SecureCRT, typing any portion of a saved session's name within the connect bar will show those existing saved sessions as possible completions that can be selected with the arrow keys, then pressing enter will connect to that saved session. If you're not too keen on where the connect bar resides, it's fairly easy to customize where it is placed and resize it to accommodate your preferences. Just right click on the toolbar area and choose customize. Then drag the connect bar to the new spot you want it to reside and drop it there. You can also resize it to be wider if you desire. Then close the customize window and you're all set. If you happen to mess anything up, just reset the toolbar back to defaults using this little trick. Remember that as of version 8.5, an ad hoc connections properties can be saved as a session by right clicking on the tab and choosing Save Session. This way you can get connected quickly and then save the session to the session manager if you want it for keeps. Hopefully you've seen some time saving techniques you can employ with SecureCRT's Connect Bar. If you have questions about this functionality in SecureCRT, feel free to reach out to our technical support team. That's all for this video. Enjoy the Connect Bar and SecureCRT. And stay secure, my friends.